This video will cover printing and exporting importing DWG and DXF files. Printing. Libre Design uses the Windows print drivers to handle all of the printing. Drawings can be printed from any of the templates to most printers and plotters. Most plotter sizes are accommodated. If your 2D drawing is not printing correctly, the first thing to do is make sure that you have the latest drivers for your printer. This will fix 99% of printing issues. Most printer manufacturers regularly make updates to their drivers, so you can go to their website to download the needed drivers. For the highest quality print, ensure all your views have been converted to precise views if you used fast view mode in any of your drawings you will be printing. Select the print tool from the quick access menu, the standard toolbar, or if you're in a workspace, from the Libre gem, select Print. Use the sheet range to specify what you want to print. All sheets in the drawing, the currently displayed portion of the current sheet, the entire current sheet, or only the sheets checked in the print dialog. Specify the number of copies you want to print. If you want the printed drawing to fit to the size of the paper, check the Scale to Fit option. If you want to print using only black and white, check the Print Black and White option. Click OK. Exporting a drawing as a DWG or DXF file. The option to export a DWG or DXF file is only available in the 2D Drawing Workspace. Open the 2D Drawing file, and from the Libre gem select Export File. The Export File dialog box opens. From the Save as Type drop down box, select either DWG or DXF. Browse to select a location for the exported file. Type a name in the File Name box. Now click Save. DWG and DXF Issues A common issue with importing DWG or DXF files is that these files are typically created with unit less dimensions in AutoCAD. This means that when the figures are drawn, they are not created to a standard size, such as inches, millimeters, or centimeters. When the figures are dimensioned, they are some unit long. This is why two lines can be obviously different in size, but still have the same dimension value showing. This is also why dimensions can be changed from their current value to another value, while the figures do not change size. When these types of files are imported into a Libre, if a line is dimensioned, it most likely will have a different value than what AutoCAD shows. This is because Alibre files will always have dimensions associated with them. This issue can only be fixed in AutoCAD. Importing DWG or DXF files. You can find the import command under the Alibre gem, under the File menu, or on the standard toolbar. All DWG and DXF files will open in a Libre's 2D workspace. You will be presented with the Import DXF DWG File dialog. Select the units for the imported file. Check Maintain Projection to maintain the projection plane of the imported model in a Libre design. If this option is unchecked, the model will be projected onto the XY plane in a Libre design. Check Import Only Visible Layers if you want to bring in only the visible layers from the original file. If this option is not checked, all layers, including any frozen or off layers, will be imported. This can clutter the drawing and slow performance. Click OK. The file opens in a drawing workspace. This video covered printing and exporting. Alibre Design uses the Windows print drivers to handle all of the printing. Drawings can be printed from any of the templates to most printers and plotters, and most plotter sizes are accommodated. The option to export to DWG or DXF is only available in the 2D drawing workspace. All imported DWG and DXF files will open in Alibre's 2D workspace.